subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. What is up guys? Nick here helping you to master your technology, getting things started. iOS 12 beta 1 16a 5288Q. I had 234.78 gigabytes. I want to show you how much storage I gained here with the update. So I gained about almost a gig there. So definitely gained some space with this update. So right off the bat, if you want some more storage back, you're going to get it here. There's a new build number 16A. 5308E for iOS 12 beta 2. Okay, so first thing I noticed on beta 2 was the new voice memo splash screen is now available for the device. You only see that one time anyway. Going into settings in battery, this is definitely a little bit touched up here. You can see that it looks different than before in beta 1. And overall, I really like the way this is looking. I think it's going to get even better by the final release. So Definitely going to be a little bit more detailed when it comes to checking out how you're using up your battery. Next up in the Apple Photos apps, I noticed that it's a little bit more precise now. So I can actually search the date. So I'm going to go June 18th, for example, 19th. And that was actually today. I'm actually working on a photo comparison. And if you take a look at the picture I took this morning of nature, it was actually today. So this is pretty cool that you can search like by the date and it's getting a little bit more precise when it comes to searching in photos. I always like to check to see if there is any new wallpaper. So let's go to settings, wallpapers, and we don't see an update to wallpapers here to iOS 12 beta 2. So none of those are new if you do care about that. We now have a new location icon right there. It's a little bit softer than it was before and it just looks a little different than before. So if you care at all about new icon changes like that next to the percentage, you can see that new location icon that's there in iOS beta 2 as well. One small little detail I noticed is that if I go ahead and scroll up on this iPhone 8 plus iOS 11 and I go to click my timer, um, the shape looks a little bit different. So look at those shapes at the bottom, comparatively speaking, they're a little bit different. And uh, I noticed that little thing as well in iOS 12 beta 2. You now have support for iPhone 6 style apps on the iPad. We don't have an iPad to show that, but that is available here on iOS 12 beta 2 as well. Heading back into the settings, we're going to go into the screen time and check out the new screen time setting here. So if we go into screen time, you can see that there is a new splash screen as well right here. You can go ahead and set up as a parent. You can hit continue and then you have, you can control the different devices as well. So if I hit the devices, you can see all the Apple devices I'm using right here. I can check out all the different screen times. So again, more continuity amongst your Apple products happening again here with this new feature in iOS 12. In terms of the performance, I'm not seeing too much of a difference. Battery life dropping at about the same rate so far, but again, it just dropped. So I would have to use it for a few more days to give you a more definitive answer on how the battery is going. I noticed in beta one, my phone was getting a little hotter than normal. That's expected. This is a beta. It's not, you know, uh, stock software. So I would expect that uh, Twitter is still unfunctional. So if you want to use Twitter and you're not already logged in, if you logged out, you're pretty much out and you're not going to get into Twitter on your iPhone. Also, Netflix can present some issues specifically when you are downloading certain movies. In addition to that, if you are going to be using uh, voice memos, you might have syncing issues to iCloud. Group FaceTime is also a mess as well. So if you wanted to try out the new group FaceTime application here for iOS 12 beta 2, you're going to probably run into some issues. So the question is, should you update your iPhone to iOS 12 developer beta 2? If you're testing it, of course, if, if you're using it as a daily driver, I definitely would say hold off. This is clockwork right now for Apple. They got a few months left before the new iPhones. They're just getting things started right now. And there's going to be many more betas to come. So this is still developer, so you need to be a developer to use this. Public beta might even drop tomorrow. We never know. You know how they roll. Sometimes they drop the developer, then the next day, the public. But two weeks later, since beta 1, this is beta 2. And overall, I'm liking that they're just refining things so far. It's presenting a lot of new issues. But like I say, if you do have an iPhone on the side, you're just trying it out, of course, go for it. Check it out. But if you're using it as a daily driver, definitely not. I've been trying to use this as a daily, and iOS 12 is just not ready for daily prime time for me anyway. If you found this video helpful, enjoyable, entertaining, informing, do me a favor, click that like button.